Hi, I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Coal UTV for another midweek show. What a weekend we had here at Colchester United last time out. Wins for both the men's and the women's teams with the first three points at home for Ben Garner's side against Tranmere and Luke Worley's team smashing Chelmsford 11-0 in their opening game to rocket the ladies to the top of the league. On the show this evening, we've got a look at the players' ratings for the new EA Sports FC 24 game that comes out in the next couple of weeks and we'll shortly be revealing who you had picked for the August goal of the month. But before all of that, let's take a look back at the highlights from the Tranmere game, followed by the thoughts of Zach Mitchell afterwards. To, to make my start um, for this club. Uh, fans, I think, were excellent and, and really welcoming. Um, and then also all the boys on top of that today, I think we put in a, a really good performance. Um, definitely good to bounce back from from last week and hopefully it continues. But yeah, on a personal note, I think really delighted to, to just get going. Yeah, and for all the new guys in the club, how important was it or good was it for you to have a whole week's training ahead of today's home game? Yeah, I think it just... It just builds that, um, you know, sense of comfortability, you know, um, building that togetherness in the team. Uh, and, and sort of, like I said before, playing with the likes of Hawley and, and Manny, you know, you can you can easily slot in there, um, you know, because they're, they're real leaders and have that experience. So it enables you to, you know, to really feel comfortable. And obviously it, it must help that you knew, one, what Ben Garner knows about you as a player, two, what he wants from you as a player in terms of uh, you know, how you go about things and play. Yeah, I think that you know having worked with him before, that's 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 a huge bonus. Um, you know what what he wants from you as a player. You know what you know his standards as a team. And um, and yeah, I've always really liked his philosophy and style of play. Um, 
and I think hopefully you know we can continue to to develop what he wants as a team and uh, yeah move that into next week. And and how hard was it or or, or easy was it to kind of stay concentrated at the back when it was only one nil until we got that second goal that gave us that cushion of it. Yeah, I think that's the main thing. Um, as a back line, I think today we just one focus was getting that clean sheet because we knew that would get us the winner. You know, going into half time. Um, and yeah, especially with all the heat as well. It's, you know, it was it was difficult at times to concentrate, but you know we had that that one focus, and and you know we got that in the end. Yeah, and of course you've now got another week on the training ground ahead of next weekend's game against Mansfield. Yeah, so yeah, get get recovery in first, and and all the team I think will will definitely be excited for training next week, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can continue what we we started today. And if you want to hear and see the jubilant Ben Garner's thoughts after the Tranmere game, do head across to our YouTube channel where it's available. Perhaps the only shame at the weekend was that we didn't get as many goals as we did deserve, but uh, we did see the game out and hopefully we can get some more going, more goals this weekend against the game against Mansfield here at the JobServe Community Stadium. Tickets are available for that online now. Now for a bit of fun, on to the new EA Sports FC 24 game that comes out at the end of the month. We popped over to the training ground to reveal to the lads their ratings ahead of the release. Do you think they're fair? Let's take a look at their reactions to their ratings and uh, keep an eye out for <laughs> Joe Taylor's reaction. Hello and welcome to Colchester United's EA Sports FC24 ratings reveal and we'll be finding out what the Colchester United players overall is for this year's game. Jaden, you can be first up. What do you reckon your FC24 rating is this season? I think maybe 56. And better than last year, worse than last year? Hopefully better. It's about your uh, FC24 rating. Uh, Jaden was first up. He is 56 overall. What do you reckon you are, higher or lower? What was I last year? 54 and something like that. 54 last year, yep. I've got to have gone up a little bit, surely. That's what I thought. It's called Pen Penno at Wembley, yeah? 54. I'm saying, 50 stayed the same. <laughs> I mean, I'm hearing rumours that my pace has gone down. And that's ridiculous if that's happened. Jules, I don't know what you're laughing at. That's fair. I, you know, I'm sick and tired of it. <laughs> Uh, so do you think you are higher or lower than Joe Taylor this year? In what? In your overall, just in your overall, yeah. He wasn't very happy with his and he lapped the ball over there. I'll probably be lower, I think. You think you're lower? I think. Uh, you're actually higher. Higher than Joe? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Where is it, 60. 60, yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Joe, down there. Joe Taylor was, uh, where is he? He is 54 overall. Do you think you're higher or lower than Joe Taylor? Oh. Well, I see something online yesterday, so I think I'm higher. Um, yeah, we'll see, won't we? What are we? I guess you are 64. 64 what? 10 higher than him, yeah? Oh, he's not going to be happy about that, is he? He's not happy at all. <laughs> I'll take that to be fair, yeah. Lower than 64. What do you reckon you are? I'll go 60, 61, 60. 60. 60, yeah? Last year? Better than last year. More importantly, he's climbing, isn't he? more importantly, are you higher or lower than Joe Taylor? He's just been promoted to the Prem, so he's probably be a bit. Probably be a bit. I reckon I'm higher. I'm higher. Yeah. Correct. Well, Let's go! <laughs> Who's quicker, me or him? I don't know. We've only got overalls. At the I'm quicker than him. I'm quicker than you. Know. <laughs> be real. Be real. Be real. Can I go right now? There we go. Well, uh, you know what? If you, you want, if you want to prove there it, you go. ask the sports scientists. No. You can settle this one, George. Who's quicker? Sam or Alamin? Bro. Are you higher or lower than Samson overall? I'd like to think I'm oh, higher, yeah. That's Both higher? Uh, Reedy, you are 60. Chili, you are 64. 64? 64. You've gone up one from last year. Stay the same, yeah. Did they not watch the game Saturday? That's so disappointing. Here comes Manny. <laughs> Higher or lower? What have got going on? Higher or lower on FC24 and Chile? Me? I'm top of the team. Top of the team? What was your rating? 65, I believe. 65, he's got it spot on. 
Absolutely spot on. <laughs> Some interesting reactions there. None more so than Joe Taylor, who we can only assume is not very happy with his 54 rating. Uh, as we said earlier, let us know your thoughts, the ratings from for the players. Uh, are they fair, unfair, about right? Uh, do let us know. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're looking forward to playing the game when it comes out in a couple of weeks' time. We launched on Saturday the goal of the month competition for August, and now it's time to announce the winner. We'll take a look at the goal, followed by a quick chat from the scorer himself. It was Brad Eomvian with that classy, cool finish, the little dink over the goalkeeper at Gillingham. Let's take a look at the goal, followed by Brad's thoughts. And then Greenwich will go forward. And is he onside? He is. He on the end with his chance for his first ever goal. First ever professional goal. And the U's have got three. Would you believe it? Celebrations all around. And the U's fans, there's nearly 400 of them, cascade down the gangways towards the pitch area, trying to engulf as many Colchester United players as possible. And right at the bottom of that scrum is Bradley Eon Vien. And my word, what a sumptuous top class finish onside broke into the penalty area and then just delicately lifted it over Jake Turner and the U's are heading towards their first win of the season and they've done it in emphatic style at a canter, Gillingham nil, Colchester United 3. Brad, goal of the month winner for August, just tell us a little bit about the goal and, and how that must make you feel. Uh, yeah, no, feel, feel good, feel good. Um, just kind of like saw um, Will get the ball and I kind of figured there's only one pass he could make in one run. So breaking the line, question was on or off. Still up in the air to now, but um, yeah, kind of, um, I was more worried about being onside. Um, and then when I got, when I then got in front of the goalkeeper, the chip seemed like the only option. So yeah. what was going through your head? I saw on the replay, you're looking over at the linesman a couple of times just to double check what was going through your head at that point. Yeah, yeah. Um, just, am I off? Because we're 2-0 we're up at this point. So I know I want to score my first goal, but more more interested in making sure we win. So if the liner is about to raise his flag, I don't want them to then take a quick free kick and I'm caught out. So that's why I kept checking. And then when he didn't, just, I was just through, wasn't I? And we could see the celebration. We see how much it meant to you as well. Just take us through your emotions at that point. Yeah, no, it was um, it was a bit of a disbe not disbelief, but a bit of like, oh my gosh, it's actually happened now. Um, at first, because I'd been um, well, everything I've done is working up to that point. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's actually happened now. And then it was just joy from there. Um, and I was just happy for me, happy for my dad that he was there as well. So um, and my agent. Um, so. Just, just joy, just joy that's finally come. And obviously got yeah. the goal, second goal against uh, Tranmere on Saturday as well. More to come from you? Uh, well, I'd hope so. I'd hope so. Um, you know, I'm just going to try and keep doing the right things, um, working hard every day. That's all, that's all I can do. So hopefully. Great to see that goal again. Never get sick of watching that. A cool, calm, a calculated finish from Brad. Uh, and what a great way to score your first ever professional league goal. He followed it up with another one uh, against Tramir. Not necessarily as clinical, but nevertheless, it uh, will go down as his goal. I'm sure John thought it was going in, but you've got to make sure you've got to put these goals away. So well done to Brad for notching another goal. That's pretty much it from us today. Remember to get your tickets online for the weekend's game. I'll be back here on Saturday for the pre-match show. Have a great week, whatever you're up to. We'll see you back here on Saturday. Till next time, it's goodbye for now.